let's move on and talk about planning a little bit. Um, so uh, my dilemma here is change doesn't occur once a year and internal audit risk assessment, assessment must be dynamic, not static. And also we need to focus on the risks that matter to the organization objectives. And th those are the risks that need to be addressed in the audit plan. And sometimes we see, you know, there are certain engagements coming um, out of our risk assessments and our internal audit planning. And we really need to ask this question from a business perspective. Will this engagement really add value to the business? Because, you know, if I'm doing my audit planning based on the risk assessment, which is not so dynamic, how do I make sure that the changing business needs are catered into my audit plan? And how do I use this, Farooq, how do I use this dynamic risk assessment that you've just explained into my very um, kind of uh, focused internal audit plan, which is, which is more valuable. Once I deliver on, those, on that internal audit plan, I really meet board and audit committee objectives. How do we do that? How do we make sure that this risk assessment is actually feeding into my audit plan? I have my audit plan, which is very dynamic and linked with the business objectives. Yeah, uh, first thing first, uh, you know, so whenever you do an annual audit planning, let's say that, you know, you plan for an audit for an year, uh, let's assume that you've got 100 auditors and you've got around 3000 to 4000 processes in place. And uh, you've got you've done your risk assessment. So while doing this practice, you know, you've got all those known factors, which is playing around every time you do that. So the first thing is that the amount of time you spent uh, to create such a plan, uh, you know, such a plan. So even if you know that, you know, you've got a template which comes out after your efforts of three to four months, if I may rate, or two to three months, I don't know, you know, if you're talking yeah, about that yeah. size, what, what do you think? What's, what's the size yeah, you're talking if, about? If you're talking, what's the duration? About, if you're talking about the organization of that size and with complex and I've worked with various organizations, starting from professional services firms to oil and gas sector, now with government sector. And it's um, in a bigger organization with complex uh, processes. It takes weeks and months sometimes, Farooq. And then, you know, we sometimes ask that question, by the time we have this whole audit plan ready, it took two, two to three months, this typical audit plan. Is it really relevant now if you're going to execute that? Especially this COVID-19 has asked big question marks as to, you know, you did your typical audit, completed your typical audit planning process, and you know it's more relevant. So how do we how do we come out of this typical approach? And we say we have an audit plan which is fed by the information all the time. Yeah. So like what we have said in the beginning. So if you have got a proactive risk assessment system which is giving you a real time dashboard with with a complete uh, list of internal controls and its low performing and high performing area. So what if, if I come and tell you, like if I press a button and saying that, okay, auto audit plan generate, you click on that. And if you get two audit plans, how would this sound to you? That sounds too good to be true, Farooq. Come on, give me a break here. You're saying the, the amount I used to spend, you know, two to three months to put together an action plan. I'm sitting on my um, desktop. I'll just press a button and that would generate an audit plan. Is, is this for real? Yeah, this sounds very easy, but it is not that easy to do that. We have tested this with, uh, uh, you know, some of our projects, uh, but successfully. Awesome. What I'm trying awesome. to tell you is that, you know, the output of your risk assessment practice, you know, where you get to see uh, the performance levels of your organizational objectives, your business performance against the identified risk, the potential impact and the size of the impact in different domains. So once you have them listed, the rest of the things are all known to you. The most dynamic things are your continuous risk assessment where you consider everything around your organization and beyond your organization. Once you have this difficult exercise done, the rest of the things are all known, Imran. So you're talking about your audit categories. Maybe you have 30, 40 audit categories. You have, uh, you know, I don't know, from different region to region, you, will got, you have got a lot of compliance and regulatory standards and best practices. You've got your, uh, you know, previous internal audit results. You've got your audit team and the competency levels. Plus, you've got all those isolated and integrated, uh, you know, data points or systems which are up and running. So all what, what's going to happen is that simply all those are going to be pushed into one funnel, right? And whatever you know as an internal audit team, 
that will be taught to the system. Basically, that's a learning process for the machines initially, you know, applying all the known criteria. So we're talking about applying all those known criteria like the risk assessment results, the audit categories, and, uh, you know, the auditors and competence. And then what happens is that, you know, we think as single dimension, you know, like we, we think and the, the, the machine can think multidimensional. So what happens is that, you know, it will start bringing the associations and patterns and relationship using different technology platforms, you know, and, you know, what you get out of it is simply the blue and red, what you see on the screen. So you get two plans, spend all your time, which is an editable plan, spend all your time doing it. And then you can probably say that, okay, I'm going to choose, you know, this is how I'm going to choose it. So how, how does this sound to you, you know, like as, 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 as an audit professional? So Arug, I know it's optimistic to say, yeah, yeah. No, this sounds very, very exciting to me. I, I'm, I'm really trying to imagine once I have all that input into the system, I would just be able to generate. This saves a lot of my, my staff time, um, you know, in terms of number of hours input, I can really use that um, staff and my team towards more, um, uh, you know, consulting um, sort of business and where we can work closely with the business to add more value. So if I'm saving a, a lot of time here um, and for this, I, I also see this helping me in, you know, making my function more future focused where I'm able to predict the weather because now my uh, you know, risk assessment is linked with the business processes and the way they change my risk assessment gets updated and that information is now fed into my audit plan. So this is awesome. You know, if I have that sort of solution, I would say this would really help me deliver um, the, you know, uh, my, uh, to complete my deliverables and to make an impactful um, and to complete an um, impactful work here. Um, so that's, that's,